Hey everyone, welcome back to the Race Vice Smokehouse and Grill, and today we're smoking a six pound beef shank. Stick around, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna be cooking this six pound beef shank on the Weber Smoky Mountain. First thing we need to do before we could rub it down and get it onto the grill is we gotta get a lot of this fat and silver skin off. That stuff's not gonna render and it's just gonna make it tougher in the long run. So let's get this thing trimmed up. Okay, this is nice and trimmed up now. It's a pretty invasive trim because there's a lot of tendons and ligaments and hard fatty areas that, uh, that, that just aren't going to cook down and you want to get all that off there before you get it on so you can really give you the best chance uh, to succeed at making this. So this is a good trim. We got most of it off. This I'm leaving alone. This is all bone here. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and season this now. Today we're using Meat Church's Holy Cow Great Beef Rub. We're gonna season this liberally. I'm gonna season every bit that has meat exposed. This is rubbed up and ready to get put on the grill. Today we are using the Weber Smoky Mountain. We're using Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal and chunks of post oak for some great smoke flavor to be imparted. We are using the water pan as usual in our Weber Smoky Mountain. We're gonna go put this on the Smoky Mountain, smoke this until it has a great bark and it's ready to get wrapped up. That's gonna be about 160 degrees, so let's go get this started. Okay, hey, we're gonna be running this grill at about 250 to 275 today. Really cold out here, so we're gonna that's why we're seeing all this smoke come up from here. I'm gonna use one temperature probe and we're gonna gauge this temperature of the meat as it cooks. Again, we're gonna to try to get this to about 100, 165 or so, have a nice bark set up on it, and then we're gonna put it in a pan with some stock and we're gonna let it braise to make sure it's really pull apart tender. So let's close this up and get started. Okay, let's take a look at this shank and it is looking great. Currently we're probing internally about 160, depending on the area, it's between 155, 160, but we have that bark right where we want it. So the next step we're gonna do is I have this foil pan and I have some bone stock here, some bone broth, and we're just gonna add this to the pan. And we're gonna braise this basically. You want to keep that bone broth in the tray, but I don't necessarily want the meat sitting in the juices, so I have a little cooling rack inside there. We are going to foil this up and let it go till it reaches an internal temperature of about 205. All right, let's close it back up and we'll be back when it's time to rest. Okay, here's our beef shank. This smoked for about five hours. We wrapped it up for about an hour and a half, so about six and a half hours of total cook time. Then we rested this for about an hour and a half. Now it's time to pull. Let's see this, look at bone right out. Look at, just pulls right apart. That's how tender it gets with that braising. And now this is gonna be great. Now, what are we gonna use it for? There's so many different things you could use this for. Um, I think later I'm gonna make some quesadillas out of this, but you could just make your sandwiches. Pull this all apart. Man, all right, let's try some. It smells amazing. Oh yeah. Get the smoke flavor off the bat. Then you get that rub and a real beefy flavor that rub is great because you get a lot of the, the black pepper along with whatever spices are in there, but that black pepper is really a standout. This is amazing. If you come across a beef shank, go ahead and get it. Make some great chopped beef, some 
pulled beef, and then you could do whatever you want with this. Make some sandwiches, like I said, quesadillas or tacos or whichever way is your favorite way to eat smoked beef. Go ahead and get this. It is, like I said, a tougher cut, but that's why you treat it this way. You smoke it low and slow, then you kind of braise it with that broth, and it comes out amazing. Well, I appreciate you checking this video out. Cheers, everyone. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Please give me a subscribe, like, share, all the good stuff, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.